I'm uh, Omar Hurricane. I'm the uh, chief scientist for the Inertial Confinement Fusion Program at Lawrence Livermore National Lab. As chief scientist, I set a lot of the strategy and tactics that we use as we do experiments uh, trying to obtain ignition in the laboratory on the National Ignition Facility. I do theory to help guide uh, where we take the program and I do data analysis where I try to understand if our theories and models actually make any sense. Inertial confinement fusion is a very multidisciplinary area of science involving plasma physics, engineering, hydrodynamics, and of course we have some of the most advanced technical tools in the world available to us, such as the largest supercomputers in the world and the National Ignition Facility itself, which is the world's largest laser. In inertial confinement fusion, we're going to actually use inertia. Uh, so we take a shell of material and accelerate it inwards upon itself where the fusion fuel is trapped inside. If you accelerate it to high velocities, eventually that kinetic energy that's acquired uh, by accelerating the shell uh, is turned into internal energy. We generate these high pressures and high temperatures, and it naturally wants to blow itself apart because it's very hard to hold on to something that has a pressure twice that of the center of the sun. But we can hold on to it for a short amount of time. The amount of time we can hold on to it is controlled by essentially the uh, inertia of the shell surrounding the hot plasma. The idea behind inertial confinement fusion is this acceleration process of a shell and using the inertia of that shell to hold it together long enough for the fusion reactions to take place but eventually it does blow itself apart. We are a scientific research facility trying to prove principles and understand the physics of what's going on. We also have a national security mission involved in uh, the experiments we do. For energy production, we have to make the laser a lot more efficient than the one we have now. The Na National Ignition Facility laser is only about half a percent efficient. So that means of the several hundreds of megajoules of energy that we put into it electrically, we only get about two megajoules out that actually shoot at our target. The other aspects of what will need to be done for energy is we have to improve the quality of our targets so that they are more robust, less fragile, we also have to be able to do the experiments several times a second. Finally, we have to get a higher gain. In order to make up for the laser energy expended to do our experiment, uh, we would have to increase the gains by at least an order of magnitude. We have to make our implosions more efficient and produce higher yields for the amount of laser energy they put in. One way to do that is creating more compression, where we can squeeze this implosion up down to smaller radii get the atoms uh, packed closer together so that the fusion reactions uh, are more efficient. I think the future for the field is actually pretty bright now. There are a variety of concepts that need to be explored. I think it's going to turn from a field that is just scientific understanding to actually scientific application. So I expect to see a lot of different facilities uh, being built either by private fusion companies and the government. Proliferation of a lot of interesting ideas. So here's advice that I would give a student. Problems that look impossible with enough brains on them and enough time are solvable. And I think when you get enough smart people together and anything is possible. So believe in yourself, look to work with other smart people and there's almost nothing you can't do.